I'm Nicola, a dietitian from Celiac UK, and I'm going to give you all the information you need to know about celiac disease. Even though celiac disease is a common condition, affecting one in a hundred people in the UK, a lot of people haven't heard of it. There are around 500,000 people still undiagnosed who may be seeking answers about what's wrong. Here's what you need to know to work out if you could be one of them. Celiac disease is not an allergy or an intolerance, it's an autoimmune disease. When a person with celiac disease eats gluten, their immune system reacts and attacks their body. This reaction to gluten causes damage to the lining of the small intestine where finger-like villi live. Villi absorb nutrients from food, but in people with celiac disease, the villi become damaged and flattened, meaning that they are less able to absorb nutrients. This can result in nutrient deficiencies and lead to a number of other health issues. Well, in most people, it causes some really unpleasant symptoms and they are so wide ranging, it's sometimes hard to spot at first. The disease affects people very differently. Some people don't have any symptoms at all, but the most common symptoms are persistent unexplained gut issues like vomiting, stomach pain and diarrhea. People may also experience extreme fatigue as a result of the reduced absorption of nutrients, often shown on a blood test as iron deficiency anemia. Other indicators include recurring mouth ulcers, pins and needles in hands and feet, dental enamel defects, osteoporosis, fertility issues for men and women, recurrent miscarriage and blistering skin rashes known as dermatitis herpetiformis. People will generally have at least one or more of these symptoms, although experiencing them once doesn't mean you have celiac disease. If they are persistent, then it's worth taking our online self-assessment to see if you should be tested. Very importantly, don't cut out gluten until you've completed the testing process, or you may receive a false negative test result. There's currently only one way to treat celiac disease, and that's with a strict gluten-free diet for life. Most people see improvements very quickly when they're diagnosed and they cut out gluten. It's crucial to avoid gluten in all forms, even in small amounts. Left untreated, damage caused by celiac disease can lead to complications over time, like osteoporosis and even small bowel cancer in some rare cases. This is important even if you don't experience symptoms, as the damage will still be done. Luckily, most natural foods like fruit, veg and unprocessed meat and fish do not contain gluten. And the food industry has developed gluten-free substitute foods to give people that need to live gluten-free some alternative options on the shelves. Plus, there's a wealth of gluten-free recipes on the Celiac UK website. The crucial thing is to learn how to read labels and to be aware of cross-contamination. We've created separate videos on these subjects to help. After going gluten-free, following diagnosis, the gut should heal and most, if not all, of the symptoms will go away. So no need to panic if you do get a diagnosis. Apart from the treatment of a gluten-free diet, you'll be joining an amazing community of people that will support you. And Celiac UK can be there to help you at every step. We've got you because we get you.